Hey guys, Dimes here. This is going to be a quick video of me running voiced Caculine and voiced Floro for the score attack. Now keep in mind this is far from an ideal run because my voiced Caculine is only skill level 2. However, I still managed to get a pretty high score with this team. For stickers, I am fully maxing out eraser damage with the Hierophant and Risotto stickers and also capping it off with the Joseph Caesar sticker boosting all of my power by 200 for using the yellow and green team. Keep in mind, Voice Kakyoin is also boosted this score attack, so the eraser damage is going to be even more crazy. But do keep in mind, having a skill level 5 voiced Fortero definitely helps with this run, while Kakyoin feels more of a supportive role to charge him fully. If you haven't seen my unit review for voiced Kakyoin, I would highly recommend watching that video first so you have an idea of how a skill works. If you have any ideas about what units I should cover next, leave your suggestions in the comments below and I'll pick up the best ones for the next video. Now if I have a skill level 4 or above Kakyoin, this was how I would assume the run would go. Use Fortero's time stop outside of stand up to charge into stand up. Then connect all of your Fortero enhanced panels in the stand up. You want to try spreading the board pretty evenly with Fortero panels so that Kakyoin's 2x2 replace will connect and add more damage onto it. Then you will use voiced Kakyoin skill to get a burst of damage while also restoring a portion of your erased panels as enhanced panels. Then proceed to make a 4x4 and after stand up your Fortero should be fully charged. Now once Fortero is fully charged you will use the skill again outside of stand up and continue the loot. Now due to me having only a skill level 2 Kakyoin, obviously it's going to take a lot more for me to fully charge my Kakyoin. But also only having him at skill level 2 means that only 40% of the panels he erase will re be returned as enhanced panels. So not only after standup is Kakyoin going to have barely any charge, but also I won't have enough enhanced photo panels to make a 4x4 with. So that's why for lower skill levels I made a small modification to this run. Kakyoin does this erase in standup, that means Fortero's time stop charge will be nearly full, especially if he erases a ton of enhanced panels. Once Fortero's skill is fully charged in the standup, I will then use the skill to make a bunch more enhanced photo panels by mashing. That way, not only can I guarantee making a 4x4, but also get more enhanced panels so I can charge both my unit skills outside of stand-up. Now, do keep in mind this is far from a perfect run because in some stand-ups I miss making a 4x4 and also I fail at using all of Kakyoin's skills. But this is a pretty fun team and I'm pretty happy that I used all of Fortero's skill limits and also didn't drop combo. But if one of you guys can make a video using voiced Kakyoin and voiced Fortero and beat my score, Leave your comments below and I'll pin it and also add it to this video's description so you guys can check out an ideal run with this team. Anyways, that's going to be it for my commentary on this run guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to be up to date when I ever upload a new video. If you guys have any criticisms about this run or if you want to suggest me to make a new video about a specific unit, leave your comments below and I'll pick up the best ones. And also let me know whenever I make a mistake in these type of videos. If you have any other questions about the game, be sure to join the PPP Discord, links are in the descriptions down below, where me and a bunch of other people will be able to help you with anything about the game. That's going to be it for my commentary, and now the video will be sped up. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay.
Oh! <laughs> 